Hey guys, welcome back. I'm actually sitting here snacking on one of my favorite things for before uh, before bed if I'm in the mood for a healthy snack, which occasionally I am, and it's strawberries and milk, actually. It makes really a delicious combination rather than having cookies and milk. Um, and I got an email about 10 minutes ago that I was uh, kind of, I was going to uh, put off doing this little blog for a day or two or until I got settled into New York, but I think it's actually worth um, worth talking about now. It's from Jason. He says, Mark, any advice on getting over someone? I have been really sad over the breakup of my relationship. I kind of feel guilty for not giving him one more chance. Part of me says if you really love someone, you can forgive things. I would appreciate any insight you have. Thank you. Always a fan, Jason. All right. Uh, well, Jason, I don't know how recently you've been uh, broken up. If it's if it's fairly recent, it's normal to be sad and feeling a little bit lonely, and you tend to kind of think that you you may you may have been better off uh, if you had just continued the relationship. Uh, very often, it takes a a little bit of distance between between the the time of your breakup. Uh, so that you can get some perspective on it, and then you can really see uh, that it was the right thing for you in most cases. Um, I don't, and uh, also I don't know uh, what it is that this person did to you. And uh, but you mentioned um, you give him one more chance. I don't know how many chances you've given him, and the, and that kind of a thing. But um, I'll, I'll try my best to give you some uh, perspective on this. And. Uh, and for me personally, I don't spend a lot of time uh, wishing for yesterdays that there's no way for me to get back. Uh, I've mentioned this in several blogs that I uh, I lost my mother. I've lost many close family members, my grand both sets of grandparents, my my favorite aunt, and uh, you know what? I I even then I don't spend a lot of time kind of wishing that things were different and wishing they were still here. Uh, I I think fondly of the memories I have with them. I still feel uh, all the love that they had for me and that I had for them. But I just don't spend a lot of time wishing that something that can never be different would be different. I, I think that's kind of a misallocation of your emotional energy. And it you, sometimes it takes a conscious effort not to do that. And we all have our slip-ups and find ourselves wishing for something that can never be. But you do have to make a conscious effort to pull yourself out of that that line of thinking. Also, uh, it's not a bad thing, even if you were in a in a bad relationship. It's not a bad thing to look back fondly on some good memories that you had. Just because the relationship was bad doesn't mean that you can't be left with any with any fond memories of that time you spent with this person. That's okay. That doesn't mean that. And just because there were some good times that that you're missing now doesn't mean that the relationship as a whole was good for you. So again, it's going to take you a little bit of time before you get enough distance between you and this relationship that you can look back on it and really see if this was a good thing for you or not. Um, you, you really, <clears throat> right now, you're, you're thinking that uh, you should have just kind of kept yourself in the relationship and you wouldn't be going through all this uh, kind of this sadness, but my guess is you were going through some sadness when you were in the relationship. You just weren't going through it alone. And, and that can make it a little bit, you know, that changes the feeling of, of that whole thing. Uh, and another thing about forgiveness, that uh, you said uh, if you really love someone, you can forgive things. Uh, to a certain extent, that's true. Uh, not all things. Uh, I don't believe that everybody deserves a second chance or a third chance to hurt you again. Uh, I think there's, I have two definitions of forgiveness myself. Uh, there are times where I think you forgive the act and you forgive the person and you keep them in your life and you understand that for whatever the circumstances were around the action that hurt you, uh, that, that, that those can be changed and the person won't do it again. Um, and you can forgive them and you can forgive that action and, and continue to keep them in your life. There's also the kind of forgiveness where you just accept the fact <clears throat> that the situation can't be any different. Uh, you know, the person cheated on you, they, they uh, beat you up, whatever, whatever it could be. 
you accept the fact that the situation can never be any different. It is what it is. You're going to accept that. You're not going to continue to hold any bitterness towards that event or towards the person, but you're making the decision to remove them from your life. And that's that's a type of forgiveness, to, to, to release the bitterness and say, I understand the situation happened the way it did, and nothing will ever change that. It doesn't mean that it's right, and it doesn't mean that I have to allow you to, to continue to remain in my life. But I will, I, I can let go of the bitterness because I know there's nothing that I can do to change the past. And that's, that's another type of forgiveness. And I think uh, both of them um, <clears throat> involve, involve love because you're, you're releasing that sense of anger and resentment towards the person. But forgiveness doesn't always mean you have to, uh, you have to allow the person to remain in your life. Um, I, <clears throat> I personally am, have, a, have a fairly uh, you know, strict set of boundaries that if somebody violates them, I, I just, I'm not going to give somebody um, the chance to use me as a doormat twice. Uh, I mean, there are certain things where I think uh, you can make exceptions, but, but a lot of the things that cause a, uh, a breakup whether it be infidelity or abuse or um, a, a couple of other serious things like that, those are things that sometimes you just have to come to the recognition that they're not going to change. And for and, and let me tell you another thing that when you said uh, when you really love someone you can forgive. Well, Jason, the first thing you have to remember is to love yourself. You don't allow people in your life who are not going to treat you right people who are gonna gonna lie to you or abuse you or mistreat you in any way your first loyalty has to be to yourself um, you know you if you don't have a, a strong sense of, of self-respect and and boundaries you're going to put up to protect yourself uh, you end up you know allowing people to drain your emotional energy and when your energy is drained you're of you don't get to enjoy your own life but then you don't get to you don't get to be a benefit to those around you. I mean, think about people who are really stuck in terrible relationships or bad circumstances. They, um, they're so emotionally drained that they're not enjoying their life, and they're constantly, you know, they're they're just not adding to anyone else's life. So I would tell you before you before you start to uh, use this, you know, use love to rationalize whether or not you should forgive this person. You should use love to justify the fact that you have every right to eliminate someone from your life who's been mistreating you. And again, Jason, I don't know all the particulars of your circumstance, but I think you're going to be fine if you, uh, if you want to email me again and give me any more details, or if you just want somebody to chat with a little bit, uh, feel free to send me an email through the site. And uh, to the rest of you guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, and if you find any... Uh, I hope you find some use out of this video too. So have a good night.